All right. Well, here we are. We're at uh, uh, Teleco Gap here on the uh, Appalachian Trail. Uh, after uh, sitting out a day in, in Franklin, uh, we were planning to get started yesterday morning, uh, but it was a uh, pretty rough weather forecast uh, yesterday. Um, rain all day. Uh, it didn't turn out as bad as we thought it was going to be, but uh, better safe than sorry. So uh, we're getting started this morning. It is a brisk morning, uh, probably in the somewhere in the mid 20s, I would imagine. Uh, so we're going to get started here. We cut we cut 10 miles off of our original plan, about 10 miles, nine to 10 miles, um, and so uh, uh, we've we've pretty much cut a day off as well. So. We're going to be going today um, to Rufus Brown Shelter, I think it is, which is about, I guess it's about eight mile hike today. So uh, we're going to get started so we can try to get warmed up a little bit. Um, but this should be about a 40 mile trip. We're going to hike all the way to Fontana Dam. Uh, and so we'll see you along the way and we appreciate you all watching. All right, so sorry about that <laughs> brief intro. It was. We just gotten out of the car and hands were freezing. Uh, so, uh, starting to warm up just a tad right now. But it's gonna be chilly all day. It's gonna get uh, down in the low 20s uh, tonight. Um, be cold again tomorrow. Then it'll start, to, should start to warm up uh, tomorrow afternoon maybe, hopefully, and Thursday for sure. Um, the plan is to get to Fontana Friday depending on uh, how we're feeling. Uh, we have until Saturday, um, but we'll just kind of play it by ear. Uh, it is the week of March 10th, 11th, somewhere around there. I'm not even sure what the date is today. I think it might be March 12th today. Um, and uh, it's our spring break. Uh, down in Tallahassee. Oh, wait. I also say on Friday it's 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 my dad's birthday. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna spend uh, I'll spend my 49th birthday on the trail, either finishing up or on our next to last day. That'll be that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, we're climbing uh, towards Wester Ball now. Uh, looking forward to that. It's only about a mile and a half in from Teleco Gap uh, And then the rest of the day uh, Should be some small up and downs um, We'll be climbing almost all the way down to uh, the NOC today um, Expect that we'll see a lot of through hikers. We saw a lot of through hikers yesterday and Sunday uh, in Franklin had a couple good days in Franklin um, but there are a bunch of them out here right now, so kind of looking forward to that. Um, we'll see how crowded the shelters get. We should be into our shelter relatively early uh, today. I'm guessing 4.35 o'clock. Uh, probably early enough to push on, uh, but the next shelter's probably just out of reach uh, if we pushed on for today, so we're gonna settle in. Uh, I think it's I think I mentioned it earlier and I believe it's Rufus Brown shelter or something like that so anyway well we'll check in when we get to the top here uh, I believe there's a fire tower up here on Wesser all right see you soon all right well we made it to uh, top of uh, Wesser Ball you can see the uh, tower there behind us we're about to go and check that out uh, not a bad climb, huh? Nope. Not very steep. Uh, it's climbed for about a mile, 1.2 to one, one and a half miles uh, and from uh, from Teleco Gap, but it's pretty pretty moderate. And there's a lot of ice on the ground. Yeah, a lot of ice today, <laughs> but um, starting to warm up a little bit, uh, so that's good. Um, we're gonna go uh, drop our packs <laughs> and take a look at this uh, this fire tower. We'll take some. Uh, we'll check in back with you when we get up there. That's not a bad view right there, is it? We're at the top of the Wester Ball Fire Tower. Pretty much 360 views. It's 
really lucked out today. It was just overcast all day. Sun's out now though. So not a bad climb. Uh, as we said before, pretty moderate. Um, and fortunately the sun's out so it's not too crazy cold up here and the wind is not really uh, that crazy either so and look at this ice yeah still some ice there's still ice to be found all right guys well we're gonna take a little snack break up here and we'll check in uh, in a little bit all right well we just uh Stopped here at Wesserbald uh, Shelter for uh, a little lunch. Had a good lunch stop. Uh, I think you maybe see the shelter there peeking in behind us. There was a big group of uh, uh, students here from Indiana University uh, on a, doing a section hike. Um, they were just breaking camp when we got here at lunchtime. So they're only going up to the next shelter, uh, kind of where we're headed. It's only about five miles up, so really no rush uh, this afternoon. It's just about 1230 right now. so. Um, not, not far to go. Um, hopefully we'll get in there, find a good, uh, camp spot and, uh, sit by the fire a little bit and, uh, try to keep warm tonight. Um, but so far so good. Everything is, uh, you know, once you sit here for a little while, you start to get cold again. So my hands are getting a little frigid right now, but, um, we're going to hit the trail. Uh, like I said, about 4.9 miles, um, uh, to the next shelter. Uh, well, we'll be stopping for the evening. And we just had to put hand sanitizer on, and it was really cold. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, we'll talk to you soon. section that we've been on here for a few minutes it kind of goes down on either side just kind of riding this little ridge here a bit rocky this is on the way down from Wesserbald shelter a bit of a scramble it looks like here careful to say just take your time So we're at uh, Rufus Morgan Shelter. Um, right back in that direction, you might be able to make out the trail coming down those steps right around the middle of the of the screen. Uh, this is the tenting area down here. Um, right up there, you can see the privy, and just beyond the privy, probably barely noticeable in the middle of the screen is the shelter. But some, and then the AT northbound goes right up the side of that hill. Uh, we're about 0.8 shy of the NOC, so it'll be a short uh, stroll tomorrow into the NOC. We'll take a good break there, chill out, look around a little bit, and then it'll be, um, we're going to go to the next shelter tomorrow. But uh, this is going to be home for tonight. I think, think a think good flat spot right over here. Uh, it's going to work out for us. Again, there should be, I would imagine, several more tenting here. Uh, before too long. The group from uh, Indiana, we passed them a while ago, and so they can't be too far behind us. 
uh, several through hikers uh, uh, passed us today. They were headed into the NOC. So I imagine a lot of people probably do that. A lot of through hikers probably do that. Unless they don't want to pay to stay at the NOC, they may stay here. But man, if I was through hiking, I'd probably walk the the rest of the way in and just to get a bunk there at the NOC. I think you can get a bunk for, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, we're going to go in and get set up. Uh, once we get going here, we'll we'll probably do one more last check in before um, we shut it down for this evening. All right, check in again later. All right, so uh, man, shelter's kind of filling up, as you can see uh, behind me. Mostly through hikers back in that area. Uh, down here close to the water source, we've got a group from Indiana, University of Indiana, and then C and I have a tent back there, but uh, it's going to be a full night here at the shelter. Um, lows around 24 tonight. Um, temperature really starts to drop once that sun disappears, so uh, it's getting kind of chilly now, but we've already eaten, got everything done. Uh, all we got left to do now is to settle down into the tent so we're gonna hang out a little bit here and uh, get in the tent probably in the next half hour 45 minutes or so so it's probably be it for tonight uh, I don't think we'll, we'll check in again tonight uh, so we'll see you guys in the morning